Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to fix that type of error. An unhandled exception occurred while processing the request. Not supported exception, no I user to factor token provider, T user named default is registered. So when you registered any uh, user then uh, there is a token provider no i user two factor uh, token provider named default is registered so here we have you uh, uh, in the register.css HTML file in the during the post here we have a user manager dot generate email confirmation token async with the user so here we have no i user two factor token provider named default is registered so uh, how to fix that type of error so just uh, startup.cs file or you can say the program.cs file where you can say that service is there uh, configure service method and here we have a service.add identity and in which you have to identity user identity role so uh, you can just add add default token provider add uh, default token provider okay so after uh, doing this uh, after adding this method in the uh, in the service your problem will be resolved easily so just and after doing this you can say and where uh, where you can this uh, exist in the register.css HTML file wait for some times I will show you and where is the identity Okay, here we have an identity and register.css HTML file and in the register.css HTML file you will see that on the post method model.state is valid create user and set email async and okay after succeeded you can say that uh, user manager.generate email confirmation token async that line of code will be generated that type of error message so uh, result is succeeded and uh, everything is added in the uh, role so that type of error occurs and after uh, after doing this uh, in a service like that add default token provider your problem will be resolved easily okay okay so everything is fine now add a services dot add identity add default token provider add entity framework store like this and uh, okay so add add default token providers now stop these things and run it again wait for some times so I will add another user Okay, so everything is fine now here we have an admin and just create a new okay it's not uh, admin so here we have a user and user uh, list is not exist so new employee registration and here we have a manager or you can say the staff at the rate of gmail.com just click on the register button and you will see that your uh, saved program successfully I mean to say that generate a token successfully and after this uh, this is things we can uh, add the another thing and automatically staff will be logged in into the system so just log in and staff oops not a staff admin actually admin at the rate of gmail.com and just click on the staff so here we have just display the list of the staff okay 